Hi, my name is Olive, and when I was a little girl, I lived in a one-bedroom apartment with my mom, my real dad, and my twin sister, Lisa. Mom and dad were nearly broke, and they fought about it bitterly, sometimes way into the night. Every time this happened, Lisa would bring out the box our washing machine came in, and we would crawl inside and pretend we were in a spaceship. We couldn't hide from the truth forever, and when I was eight years old, mom and dad got a divorce. Each of them could only afford to raise one kid, and mom took me while dad took Lisa back to his farm town. My family was broken, and I was totally shattered. We'll keep visiting them. I promise. It'll be okay, Olive. Mom kept her promise, and we visited dad's farm every summer, even after she remarried two years later. My stepdad was sweet, clever, and crazy rich. He was an investment banker, and he moved us into his high-rise apartment. Maybe I got too used to the luxuries, because whenever I visited dad's farm, I was miserable. It was crazy hot, there were animals roaming everywhere, and the worst part, I couldn't eat a single bite of meat. I met the farm animals every morning. We made eye contact. I couldn't eat them. Mom hated it there as much as I did, so I asked Lisa to come visit me this time. Dad could come too. You're kidding, right? Dad's not gonna hang out with Mom and her new husband. He's a banker. He's never around. He'll give us tons of pocket money, and his apartment is epic. I'm sorry that Dad's farm isn't good enough for Queen Olive, but we're supposed to hate this new guy. What's wrong with you? Mom loves him, and he's trying to give us a nice life. Enjoy your nice life while I stay here by myself. Move with me, then. Mom has enough money for both of us now. I should leave Dad alone just because you're rich? You're turning into a horrible, selfish person. And then she hung up on me. I thought it was just one fight, but the vast difference between our lives changed everything. My stepdad sent me to a posh private school, while some of Lisa's classes were literally taught in a barn. I went to school in a luxury sedan, while Lisa helped dad milk the cows before biking to school. By the time we were in high school, we never talked anymore. Hearing anything about my life made her sick. I thought I was an awful person for abandoning her, but mom said, you didn't abandon her. Neither of you had any choice here. You are beautiful, intelligent, and kind. No matter what happens, always keep your confidence. Chin up high. I lived by those words and made the most out of the life I was getting. I became the school's head cheerleader, the fashion club president, and I wore my badge of popularity with pride. That was until one day in the 10th grade, when mom gave us some horrible news. There was a little dip in the stock market, and my stepdad lost millions of dollars. All of his accounts were frozen, and he'd gone into hiding. In a moment, our perfect life came crashing down on us. The market will go up and your stepdad will come back. I, I know he will. What are we going to do until then? The bank is taking everything away, even the apartment. We were in deep trouble, and to my shock, the person who came to our rescue was my dad. He asked us to move to his farm till we fixed our situation. We were so grateful to him, but we cried when we left our gorgeous apartment. I stepped in some horse poop the second I reached the farm. Welcome, Olive. Sad to see how the rich have fallen. Nice to see you too, Lisa. How are you? Better than you will ever be. Great. I already had one enemy here. And my second enemy, the humidity, turned my hair into a curly disaster. When I plugged in my straightener, the lights went out in the entire house. Perfect. I swallowed all my complaints because Dad wanted us to be comfortable so badly. I was going to make it work for him. That was harder to believe when I reached school. Lisa told everyone I was a rich, spoiled brat whose stepdad was in jail for stealing money. She and her friends were ready to mess with me. Who wears high heels to school? Every girl in New York. <laughs> this isn't New York, sweetheart. You look like my size. Want to try them on? Wait, really? The girl totally stretched out the leather, but it was worth it to see the look on Lisa's face. She would have to work way harder to make me unpopular. And she did. I was a total fail at farm work, and she clicked humiliating pictures of me covered in mud and hay. She posted them everywhere with the caption, useless. I was not useless. I had my own unique way of helping. Like one day, Dad made me taste his amazing tomato sauce he had made himself. This is incredible. I think you could really sell this. 
We got some jars, I photoshopped a logo on it, and the sauce flew off the shelves at the next farmer's market. Dad was amazed. Olive, you little genius. Want to be my business partner? What? I'm the one who grew the tomatoes with you, and I'm helping him sell them. Lisa was so mad she started throwing fruits at me. I screamed and threw some back, and Dad had to drag us out of there. Lisa and I were constantly erupting like volcanoes, and I was waiting for my stepdad to take me away from her. But one morning, I saw something that literally sent me into shock. Mom and Dad were hugging. They were talking, laughing, and Mom was touching his arm. Yuck. Are they flirting? I've never seen this before. This is bad, right? Yes. What if they fall in love and I'm stuck with you forever? And I'll be stuck here forever. This can't happen. We jumped on our parents and pulled them apart. For once, Lisa and I wanted the exact same thing. So we put our fighting aside temporarily to put a stop to this. We took turns making sure they went into separate rooms at night. And if dad did something stupid like getting mom flowers, we slipped them into the garbage. If we caught mom looking too pretty, we made her wear ugly makeup and sweaters. Our pact was actually working well until the day of the school carnival. I helped dad set up a stall to sell his special sauce. And as a thanks, he surprised me with a new logo for it. It says Olive's Choice. You chose the sauce to sell, so I named it after you. Aw, Dad. I hugged him and started helping him sell. But when Lisa saw us at the stall, she turned white. Olive's Choice? Are you kidding me? I'm the one who always helped you, Dad. I can change it to Olive and Lisa's Choice. You shouldn't have chosen her first. Lisa took a bottle and threw it on the ground. Are you mental? If you can come and take over my entire life, then I can do this. She kicked my table and all the sauce crashed to the ground. I shrieked and attacked her. We worked so hard. I hate you. I hate you more. Everyone was watching and recording our crazy fight till dad pulled us apart and the teachers threw us in the principal's office. Fighting, screaming like fools, getting sauce and glass everywhere. You're acting like monkeys. You're both suspended from school for two weeks. When we reached home and dad finished lecturing us, I turned to Lisa. Why do you hate me so much? Did I make mom and dad get a divorce? Did I make mom take me? Did I make her get married again? No, but you liked it. While I was depressed and missing you, all I heard was Olive's rich, Olive's popular. She's on top of the world. You liked your life with your stepdad better than you liked your life with us. So just go back there. She stormed away and locked herself in her room for the entire suspension. We didn't speak again till we got back to school. We were sitting in class when Lisa called everyone's attention. There's news about Olive's stepdad. Let's see what he's done now. When Lisa played the video for everyone, I gasped. My stepdad lost a lot more money than he told us. He was also cheating on my mom with multiple women. Can you believe that? He's a loser and a cheater. Guess money doesn't buy you everything. Maybe he cheated because he was sick of your mom, Olive. Hey, come on. He knew you were gold diggers, so he ran out. That's it. I raced forward and slapped that girl in the face. She tried to hit me, and I just kicked her down. Mess with me again, and you'll have to surgically remove my heel from your butt. Before anyone could say another word, I ran back home. I had to tell mom what happened. I saw Lisa following me, so I said, Try to stop me from telling her, and I'll punch you. I knew that guy she married was a snake. I want to tell her. When I opened my front door, I literally screamed. Mom and Dad were kissing. What are you doing? Are you getting back together now? No. Well, I came here to tell you that Stepdad was cheating on you. But you're cheating on him, too. I already knew your Stepdad was cheating. I caught him a few months before he disappeared. You knew? You didn't want to tell me? You loved your life in New York so much, I didn't want to destroy it. So you stayed with a cheater? I have been waiting for him to come back for months. Was that for nothing? And now you two are casually making out after a bitter divorce? Why can't you adults make a bloody decision? Girls, please. Lisa and I are here too. We went along with your divorce, but we won't keep changing our whole life according to who you want to date. I went into my room and locked the door. 
I had no idea what my future held, and I was so confused. I looked at all the gifts my stepdad had given me, and I couldn't help but cry. Mom and Dad kept trying to talk to me, but I ignored them. I didn't even feel like going to school. That was until one day when I heard Dad screaming downstairs. I ran down to see what had happened, and he was screaming with joy. We won the contest. How did you do this? Oh, I love you, Lisa. What's going on? Lisa had taken Olive's choice and entered it into a national contest. The sauce won, and a company in New York wanted to sell thousands of bottles of it. They even wanted Dad to work for them and make more recipes. What? Why did you do this? I wanted to make things right. I ate that sauce for years, and I never made Dad sell it. I'm sorry I destroyed your stall, and I'm really sorry I played that video in class. I had no idea that your stepdad could do something like that. At least you hated him from the start. I actually trusted him. I feel so stupid. To my shock, Lisa hugged me. This was the first time we'd hugged in eight years. We were just kids. What could we have done? I was an idiot to blame you. A jealous, selfish idiot. Neither of us has to feel bad. It's you two who need to get it together. Our parents finally apologized for everything they put us through and for not talking to us more about our changing lives. You and your sister fought for years because of our mistakes. We're so sorry, and we want to make up for it. We can all move back to New York now, and we promise, no matter what happens in our life, we'll never separate you girls again. We love you both more than anything.